hello. Thanks for a lot of help, I've been able to do some shopping. Instead of the usual boxes to unpack, I have a shopping bag, thanks to M5 Stack. What's in my shopping bag then? Let's see. First up is the biggest item, the DJI Tello. I bought this because of an Italian called Gian Luigi Perry, if that's his name, apology, has managed to hack together an interface that allows you to use it with M5 Stacks UI Flow. It's a bit late to play with it now, but we'll play with it someday. I have a second Wi Fi drone on its way, and we'll compare the two and see how they run. Right. Next, we have the basic box from JLC PCB, like everyone else does. What's inside it? PCBs. These are not for the M5 stack. These are for the Raspberry Pi. Quite heavy. These were designed so that Raspberry Pi would fit like that. But there's more parts required for it, and they're in another bag. Just put that up to the side. Russell, Russell, Russell. And here's the other bag. I have screw connectors. I don't believe how hard it is to track down blue ones at the moment, but and you wouldn't believe how hard it is to work out how to measure. These don't actually fit. Well, that sucks. So I, wanna... I guess a revision two is on the in the way then. After I got this one done, I wasn't quite happy with the holes around here, which are four headers. But oh well. Looks like revision two is coming sooner rather than later. Put that back in there for safekeeping. Right. Right. Next, we have Learn Python book. more and more I've been working on the back end of UI flow, the more I've been looking at commands and it's about time I picked up a, a physical book that actually teach me how to understand Python. I love the, sm the, new, the smell of new books. Right, what else have we got? <sighs> What's this? Oh yeah. Some 18650 shields. These look useful, and so I thought I'd invest in some. Which way around do these batteries go? Well, it's not that way. It's nice when they don't mark which way around these batteries go.
Well, it must be the right way around because that's telling me that the battery is fully charged. As I said, I didn't have any of these, so I thought they would come in handy. What else? We have some wire. We have some buffers. We have the round TFT display. I have an idea for a project with this, but this will need me to butcher one of these in order to take the circuit board out to make it as small as possible to go behind it. It's, it's going to be for a Halloween dis um, project, so it's ages to go yet, but I need to remove all the headers, all these headers from it before it's usable for my use. I do have more of them on order, but this is the only one that's turned up so far. Next, we have an Atom Motion. It's got four servos, two motor ports, and three Grove ports. The reason for this is the intention of using it to power a SmartSpot. And yes, it does come with a diddy little battery. Next, we have some Core Inc. Proto Bases. These come with a selection of Grove connectors, power connections, PCB mountable screw terminals, and the case that has got the minibus adapter prefitted to it. that over there can't be bothered put it back in its case um, next we have some tail bats I had one of these before but these back connections are very sensitive and um, as you can see it's broken off so I need two more in so that we can use the Grove connection on the end of this one it still does power, but that's about it. Uh, last but not least, well, actually, it's next because there's still up half the post to arrive. I have three M5 stack hull units. They even come with a rare roof magnet. That's nice. These are four. Part of my home security and automation project. And then we'll get used. Wires have been redone. Original wires all had rigid PVC, where these ones were nice. Now a nice flexible silicon wire, which should stop it from breaking so the conductors from breaking so easy when it's curled up in a box like this you know that's it i'll sit until the rest of the post goes and speak to you later <laughs>